The Office of Naval Research. Revolutionary research. Relevant results. Protecting Navy divers and submariners. The Undersea Medicine Solution. A national naval responsibility. The Office of Naval Research Undersea Medicine Program explores novel approaches to improve the health, safety, and performance of submarine forces and divers. Navy divers conduct a range of missions, including deep sea salvage, rescue operations, and demolition. The goal for everyone in the world is to go deeper for longer, and to be able to stay longer, and to do it safely. Decompression sickness occurs when nitrogen bubbles form in the diver's bloodstream. It is life-threatening without treatment. ONR's research is focused on better understanding the causes behind decompression sickness and innovative ways to treat the physical causes before they occur. The current focus is more of a biomedical focus, leveraging newer technologies in biomedicine to take a look at the immune system, effects of decompression, a genetic, uh, responses to decompression, as well as gas exchange and cellular functions. Dr. Jay Bucky, professor of medicine at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center, is working on detection of life-threatening bubbles formed in the body during a diver's ascent. Right now, we're doing exercise studies. We're having people exercise and then measuring uh, bubbles in their tissue. And so we're looking to see uh, when they appear and then how long it takes them to go away. Dr. Walter Boron at Case Western in Cleveland, Ohio, and his collaborators are studying how gas molecules move through gas channels, a promising research discovery. Gas channels are proteins in the cell membrane that have holes that allow gases to move from one side of the cell membrane to the other. At the University of Pennsylvania, Dr. Stephen Thom is looking at oxygen toxicity and decompression sickness as a disease and microparticles as the culprit. But probably more important in the context of human health is having identified microparticles as at least a component of decompression sickness, we have also developed ways of getting rid of microparticles. Hyperbaric chambers are used for further study in the research laboratory at the University of South Florida. We asked the simple question, well, how do brain cells respond to hyperbaric oxygen. And the data showed quite convincingly that cells that were important in the control of your breathing, as well as your cardiovascular system in the brain stem here, were very sensitive to oxygen. ONR's supported research at Naval Medical Research Center is looking at perfluorocarbons. Perfluorocarbon liquids carry more oxygen and carbon dioxide than blood. So our research actually in perfluorocarbons is largely pointed towards submarine rescue. When a submariner would come up to the surface from being trapped in a disabled submarine, we could actually treat decompression sickness without needing all the machinery that a hyperbaric chamber would necessitate. ONR's undersea medicine research continues to develop discoveries that will help the Navy diver and submariner remain underwater longer, work more efficiently, and return safely. For more information about the Navy's undersea medicine program, please contact the Office of Naval Research.